finally we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel with two human. Yes. How does that feel? Uh, it feels pretty good. Um, you know, we're getting close, and uh, it's it's good to finally be able to show the game uh, as we originally envisioned it. And uh, you know, hopefully people will appreciate what they see and like it. How would you describe that that journey to come to a place where you actually feel confident of showing the game? Oh uh, well, you know, it's had its ups and downs. It's been turbulent, but uh, I think I think in the end, uh, uh, you know, you got to. It, the end result is all that matters, so we just kept fighting for that end result, and we're getting there now, and we feel good about it. And, you know, we've had to overcome a lot of uh, difficulties, but we've gotten there, and uh, I, we feel good about it. So, so playing the game, what, what do you feel is the, 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 main, the main draw of it when you play it yourself? Oh, that's a tough call. I think, I think the fusion between the action and the deep RPG combined with the compelling storytelling, you know, the seeming in and out of the story as you go, and just sort of this seamless... Uh, just experience as you play. I think that's the most unique thing about the game and I think at gamers when they play it they'll be able to say hey maybe they're trying to do something different with this medium and maybe trying to push it forward in different directions and that to me is what it's all about. We've, we believe video games are the eighth art form and uh, you know combining gameplay and trying to speak speak the language of film in, in a way however with the interactivity it gives us this whole other tool that's really this wild west of unexplored territory that we're really trying to you know take advantage of and for video games so that's that's what excites me and you have a huge story to tell uh, that you want to tell in three games of course and can you, can you st give us any indication is it still going to be a trilogy it absolutely is going to be a trilogy and um, you know the theme of the first game is discovery the theme of the second game is revenge and the theme of the third game is enlightenment and we've got it all plotted out exactly how it's going to be and it's been thoroughly researched well you know you'll probably be familiar with a lot of the Norse mythology and a lot of the characters you know and from a standpoint of uh, we really want to make sure we get it right and uh, we've done so much research into, into the mythologies now it's been pretty extensive you know through the Eddas and almost every sort of different type of thing that we could find we've researched and and done so hopefully that comes through in the game do you have any any specific episode that you could that you've taken from from the mythology that that you've translated into the game that you're really excited about Ah, oh, so many things. Um, you know, I, I, as an example, you've seen some of that tonight, our sort of take on the Valkyries. Um, you know, all the things in Norse mythology, all the, all the gods in the pantheon, all the giants, all the monsters, as much as we can, because it's such a huge mythology, we're trying to relate those characters, characters as accurately as possible. So if you look back to the mythologies and you see what happens, you'll be like, hey, they're doing that this way, that's really cool. It'll be a different perspective, because obviously it's a science fiction and told from a cyclic history perspective, but at the same time, it'll be something if people know the mythologies they'll be able to relate to. So how much distraction has the whole thing with Unreal Engine been for you guys developing this game? Uh, well obviously it's been it's been a pretty major uh, it's been you know affected us pretty majorly but we've overcome it but in general uh, you know I really can't talk about the litigation or those kind of things I hope you understand we're we're saving the court case for the court and we're keeping it out of the press so. Stepping aside from Unreal what's different with your propriety engine? With what, sorry? With your own engine that you're using oh, now. It's completely different, and uh, there's so many things we can do. Hopefully you could just see by the demonstration, but again, it's getting towards the litigation. I really don't want to talk about it. Okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. You spoke about the importance of a demo when you, when you at, were at the podium. Um, how, what, what kind of demo would you like to put out, and, and what's, what do you want players to experience when you put that out? I want them to understand the game, because I think Two Human is a very original game, a very different game, and it's really hard to describe. Um, you know, and we've had a hard time, and the, uh, previously when we showed Two Human, it's been mistaken for different types of games, whether it be something like God of War, or Devil May Cry, or Ninja Gaiden, and it's not like any of those games. And, and you know, we describe in terms of Diablo and World of Warcraft, it's not like, it's got some of those aspects as well, as well but it's really this fusion, and the only way to understand the controls and make sense of the shooting and, and the melee combat is to actually sit down and play it. And on top of that, you know, we got a lot of ground to make up because, you know, our first showing wasn't that strong, so we had to make sure that people really don't, you know, use that uh, as their, you know, sort of main mindset of what the game's about. By, so by putting in a demo, they'll be able to try it for themselves, see all the things that we're trying to aspire to, and hopefully like it. Well, how far ahead of the game release would you want to put a demo out? Uh, probably about a month or so ahead of time. Um, we're really close now. We're going to announce a, a launch date pretty soon. Uh, we're not talking about it now, but it's coming out soon, TM. We're in the final balancing and tweaking stages now and making sure everything's right. And when you have to balance something up to level thir uh, up to level 50 with all the different classes, it's pretty complex and we want to make sure we get it right. So, so what, what's your thought on, on content in between the releases of Two Human if you 
make three games. Are you going to support the game throughout with downloadable content? Yeah, absolutely. We're huge believers in downloadable content. And I think, I think really to human really speaks to the strengths of the Xbox 360 and downloadable content and the use of live. And so we're going to take advantage of that the best we can, absolutely. Okay. I would like to thank you very much for your time. Oh, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to the game. Oh, thanks. That's great to hear, actually. That's, that's music to my ears. Yeah.